heading out to uh, kind of a local estate sale to me. Starting a little later than I usually like to go. This one's at 10. You know, either it makes it easy that way because not many people show up or it's like everybody's gotten out of bed on Saturday morning and decided to go to the estate sale. I might fight that crowd, but generally speaking, I really love to get up early, show up early, and hopefully get in early. That's the, that's the goal, but we're going to be going... Uh, a little early on this one too, so and see what we find and uh, hopefully it's something good. Garage is starting to open up pulling stuff out. Doesn't look like it's too much of anything, but you just never know till you get in there. 50 minutes till sale, let's see. Wasn't the best sale, but um, got some goodies and let's see what we got. A trio of kind of uh, ducks, mallards, uh, flying geese, mid-century kind of look to it. Kind of cool, just kind of a fun uh, decorative piece. Some of these are selling on eBay for I don't know, kind of all over the map. You know, maybe forty to hundred bucks or something like that. Um, yeah, just a little decorative piece, kind of cool. Also got this uh, kind of probably from the same era, late sixties, possibly seventies, hanging plant holder. And uh, my wife's always asking me for plant holders and hangers, so we'll probably keep that one. Kind of a cool drip glaze, not by any well-known maker, probably cheap, kind of a cheaper um, quality pottery, but unless, you, when are you gonna see these every day? This uh, aluminum um, juicer, uh, wherever, trademark aluminum, made in the USA. They do have some of these made in like Taiwan and stuff. USA is better, I think. I bought this solely because I have the exact one and I broke it right here by squeezing too hard on, on limes trying to make cocktails. But these are really cool. Opens up, got the little tray to catch the uh, um, the seeds. Put it back in, do a nice little squeeze. Pour out your cocktail juice and you're good to go. I love it, it's my favorite kind of juicing thing. I've got a few others that are really sweet but nothing really works efficiently and quickly as this one does for me. And we got this fun little beach bag. Thought that was cool. And he also got these really cool uh, peerless um, handcuffs. It's the first time I ever bought handcuffs, but I saw them and I was like, I could just kind of tell the quality was really good. This has the uh, two keys, the manual in it, the box. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. I saw that it had a patent date on it, made in USA. And then coming home, did a little research. Peerless is still used today. Started in 1914. What makes them industry kind of standard nowadays is the swing through locking mechanism. That's a family owned business by the Gill family. George Carney was the guy who came up with this design. One cool thing about the keys, and I didn't know this, is that once you have the hands in there and to double lock it so it can't keep swinging through, you just push this little, this little nipple tab thing and you push down in it locks so you can't do that i never knew that about handcuffs the hands should be back together behind the prisoner the cuff should be put on each wrist below the wrist bone and toward the hand i'm trying to place the year i don't know this doesn't this looks probably more like a 70s 80s attire it's hard to really say there's no date on these things springfield mass is kind of a cool little piece of history and info fun little find first time finding uh, handcuffs, but we'll see some of the value at some point. Got this photo album. Every time I find old photo albums, scrapbooks kind of thing, um, if they're a reasonable price, I buy them because I really, really love to go through people's history and kind of see their story, and it just kind of brings it back to life for um, both the people who this is their stuff and just having fun going through it. I get a kick out of it. It's kind of cool. This was like Park Wedding Chapel. Reno's exclusive wedding chapel, so someone at a Reno wedding. Here's a picture, and then thank you for using Bob Hope Airport, little coaster decal thing. And this is local to us in Burbank, so, you know, it's a little history here, kind of like that. This is some negatives. Kind of cool. Some party times, 1970. I usually like to get images, you know, more from like the 40s, 30s, and 50s, but... This is the oldest one that I found here and I thought it was kind of cool. Got some more like 
late 60s stuff. It's kind of interesting these photos have, they're just pictures of trash. Kind of like that one. Documenting a murderer, like showing how dirty something was. Some cool old cards. I love the old cars in these things. June of 68 Hollywood Bowl picks. If only we knew who was playing there. Might have to take the picture out and see if someone wrote on it. My wife's grandma always said, date and label your pictures. And that's a really helpful tip. Vintage Christmas, 69. I like vintage Christmas. Got some cool car, looks like a, it's a Chevy. Impala or Bel Air. Got a Ford here, late 60s Ford, kind of cool. These are kind of cool. Looks like either Halloween or a play. Looks like three little pigs and a king and a little boat peep or something. I like to collect the vintage Halloween picks, so that's kind of cool. Looks like this guy's going into the uh, Boy Scouts over on this page. I don't know what that is. Secretary school. This is a loving memory memorial. It's just some loose leaf pictures, kind of cool. Having fun at the home. In loving memory. Miss Georgia M. Franklin, born April 8th, 1888. Wow. Died in 70. Chapel. I wonder if this is the Reno one from the beginning. But kind of fun. Photos. Let's send Amanda Mars. Huh. Merry Christmas. This is Quake Damage Mounts, Altadena, Corner, Governor Reagan. There he is. This dates Thursday, February 11th, 1971. Wasn't even born yet. New jolts at SoCal's death toll rises. Wow. Silmar, this is the Northridge Quake. Anyway, a little history here, kind of cool. This is the local, one of our local newspapers besides like the LA Times. So 19, February 10th, 1971, kind of cool. Some people collect the ephemera, collect the paper goods. So that's kind of it for the finds. Not a great haul, but a fun haul. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>